the Arctic. No other region on our planet is warming as rapidly. But how does the Arctic influence the global climate? It's the largest Arctic expedition in history with a common goal, to collect data over an entire year in order to help find the missing piece of the puzzle in climate research. Polarstern set sail from Norway bound for the Arctic, supported by the Russian research vessel Akademik Fedorov, her goal to find a suitable ice flow. At 85 degrees north and 134 degrees east, Polarstern allows herself to become frozen in the ice, and the drift begins. It's a race against the oncoming polar night. The camp is set up in just 18 days. From now on, the interdisciplinary teams will collect valuable data every day. Storms and extreme temperatures make research challenging and alter the appearance of the flow. The constant worry on everyone's minds, will the flow remain stable? An international fleet supports the team on this extreme voyage. The first exchange of crew and supplies takes place in the middle of the polar night. Meanwhile, on some days, Polarstern drifts up to 25 kilometers. Once again, Kapitan Dranitsin sets off on a supply mission through the sea ice which is delayed by difficult weather and ice conditions. A new record in the meantime. Never before has a research icebreaker sailed so close to the North Pole in winter. Kapitan Dranitsin, on the other hand, only comes to within 970 meters of the camp on her resupply mission. The equipment has to be hauled across the ice. Afterwards, Kapitan Dranitsin has to battle her way back through the thickening ice. Her return journey to Norway is only possible with additional refueling by Admiral Makarov. The corona pandemic poses unforeseen challenges. The scheduled crew exchange hangs in the balance. Holarstern has to temporarily leave the flow. Her new interim destination, Svalbard. There, in a historic rendezvous, the German research vessels Zona and Maria S. Merian meet with Polarstern to exchange crew and equipment, and then the expedition can continue. The summer ice melt begins. Despite this, the flow and camp remain intact. The expedition accompanies the mosaic flow to the end, until it completes its life cycle and begins breaking up. Meanwhile, Academic Tryoshnikov reaches Polarstern for the final crew and equipment exchange. Thanks to unusually large stretches of open water, Polarstern reaches the North Pole in just six days. Here, the experts will investigate the final piece of the puzzle, the formation of new ice. Finally, the expedition ends with a warm welcome in Bremerhaven. For an entire year, the research teams have worked day and night to ensure that the complex interactions between the atmosphere, ice, ocean, and ecosystem can be modeled more accurately for decisions on urgently needed climate protection measures.